Hello again, everyone. Today's story is the Easter story told by Carol Heyer. Inside the temple, Jesus told wonderful stories called parables and debated the law with the chief priests and the elders of the temple. The leaders of the temple did not like to see the people listening so closely to Jesus. So they asked him questions and tried to trick him into saying the wrong thing. When asked what was the greatest commandment of all, Jesus answered, Love God with all your heart. And this I give you as a new commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. As Jesus continued his teachings and more, and more and more people followed him, the leaders and chief priests grew more fearful of him. They began to plot against Jesus and looked for a way to have him arrested. After supper, Jesus and some of his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane, and Jesus went off by himself to pray. When he returned, he found that his followers had fallen asleep. As he tried to awaken them, a large crowd of people arrived, carrying torches and weapons. Sent by the chief priests, these men arrested Jesus and took him away. The men took him to the court of Caiaphas, the high priest, where all the chief priests and elders had assembled. Caiaphas asked Jesus, Are you Christ, the Son of God? When Jesus replied, Yes, it is as you say, those assembled ordered him to be taken to the high Roman court and brought before Pilate. As it was customary to release one prisoner each Passover, Pilate went to the people and asked if they wanted to release Jesus. But the chief priest had stirred up the crowd, and the people angrily shouted for Jesus' death. Pilate let the crowd take Jesus away, and the soldiers put him on a cross. While the soldiers waited for him to die, Jesus' friends gathered around the cross, trying to comfort each other. As Jesus' death grew near, the day seemed to turn into night. Thunder roared and lightning pierced the darkness of the sky. And then, at the moment of Jesus' death, a powerful earthquake shook the ground so hard that the great curtain of the temple was torn in half. Later in the day, one of Jesus' followers took down his body and tenderly laid it in a tomb. A huge, heavy stone was rolled in front of the opening and a soldier was sent to stand guard. That is the end of our story for today. I hope you tune back in tomorrow to hear what comes next.